Hi Capricorn. Let's see what is coming towards you. What messages are coming through for you Capricorn? Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus and Jupiter. We yesterday had the full moon in Cancer. Mercury is retrograde. Venus is retrograde, my God. <laughs> Yesterday I felt some very intense emotions and uh, yesterday was the day of release. I, I feel for a lot of you, it was a day of um, letting go, releasing the harsh emotions. The intensity of this moon was very high, I felt. So let me know in the comment section what was your experience, especially all these placements were in the sky. Let me know what was your experience with that. Right Capricorn, let's dive into your reading. Let's see what messages are coming through for you this week and what do you need to do here? What do you need to know? We'll start with this deck. A quick message and then we will have the tarot messages, right? So two cards together. Take action and remain positive. Do not hold back. And that's what I heard. Success. Oh my God. A wonderful, wonderful week ahead, ahead, Capricorn. I see you are one step away from something. Just at the last step or just at the end of the tunnel, do not lose hope. Remain positive. Keep moving forward. Do not lose hope from the situation. You're almost there, right? The, the action you're going to take right now is going to lead you to your success, right? So that's a very important message I'm hearing for you. All is good. Literally all is good. Diving into the tarot, let's see what you need to hear, Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus and Jupiter, what do you need to hear? Let's see what your personal situation is right now and uh, what are the surroundings, what can it lead to, what can be the outcome and what suggestions you need here. The Fool, the Page of Cups and the Five of Pentacles, wonderful. I see Capricorn that right now you are in that mode where you want some fresh beginning in your life, right? Fool is the energy of exposure. Fool is the energy where you're ready, you're all set to jump into something, to explore something new. You might have to leave some things behind, but there's an, there's an emotion that I don't have much to lose. So I'm not really risking too much. I'm just free. I just want to take a leap of faith, right? You're trying something new work life money life love life family or something you're ready to go you're ready to travel you're ready to explore you're ready to start something fresh beginning you're ready for that right you just want to take a leap of faith into it meanwhile the people in your surroundings might not be very supportive of this because they feel that you are abandoning them someone in your surroundings might feel that Capricorn is not supportive enough. Capricorn is just thinking about their personal perspective here. Some of them might even come up and say that you are doing something foolish. You're just not considering all the options. You're not considering all the possibilities. You're just jumping, right? I see that because someone is feeling abandoned or because someone is feeling that you are not with them, they are uh, they're they are in some kind of energy where they're spying at you they want to know more about you they want to talk to you i see they might even feel like apologizing for some kind of behavior they showed to you but i see they were little not okay by your decisions and they are apologetic about it but probably you are in your own energy now you are just you know ready to take off that is the kind of energy here Let's, let's move forward. Let's see what is the situation about. I see you might hear from this person apologizing about something, but at heart they're feeling really abandoned. They want, uh, they want to be a part of your venture, but probably you're not looking for any support here. Oh my God, yes. <laughs> now, this person is eventually understanding that they will have to give it some time, right? Temperance energy. If there's somebody in your surroundings who is really uncomfortable by new ventures you are about to explore, the new beginnings you are about to, uh, you know, um, have in your life, or whatever new experiences you are about to have here, I see eventually someone is understanding that you will have to, you have all the right to explore the possibilities. You deserve to look for new opportunities. You deserve to bring changes in your life, right? No matter how deeply they are impacted by it. I see the Six of Cups energy, they miss you a lot. They see you as the soulmate, they want to be with you. 
they are in your memories and somehow you are also having the memories of this person it's not that there is some kind of departure or breaking up is happening but you're free to look for new beginnings and you're free to look for new opportunities for yourself this can be anything this might not be just love this can be um, a situation where you want to explore in love in finances maybe good opportunities abroad are knocking your door and someone is not very happy with that and the feeling that if you will leave they will feel abandoned they will be left out in cold but i think this new beginning is knocking your door capricorn and right now is a, it is a very naive opportunity i can't even promise right now that it's going to stay for very long because i see ace of wands energy and uh, something fresh is igniting here little passion little excitement you will have to see for how long this is going to stay and for for you know for how much time it's going to stay but this person is somehow adapting to the new normal they're healing they're understanding that i can't do this right i can just because i am attached to somebody doesn't mean that i have to write to stop them from exploring their life right love is not about controlling attachment possessiveness obsession is about controlling when you really some really love someone when you really care about somebody you let them go you let them explore their life you let them make right choices for themselves if you are having some perspective about your life i see eventually this person is realizing that i cannot stop capricorn they're healing from it they're waiting for you they're resting patiently that capricorn will explore everything and eventually it will be a turnaround and they will come back whatever be the case i see this person is calming themselves down they're coming to this uh, new adjustment they're trying to get to the normal here they're adapting to the change and i see eventually the situation is turning happy happy they are happy that they are somehow understanding the real connection right and you are happy because you're free to start something of your own maybe this might not be love right this can be a situation where a very possessive parent doesn't want you to explore your life a very possessive girlfriend or boyfriend is uh, somehow feeling that you going abroad is going to uh, cause the long long distance relationship suffer and uh, this can be anybody who uh, who really cares about you and uh, i see you share a bond with this person and they are they are in they are understanding that capricorn has the right to explore and make learned choices make knowledgeable choices or informed choices right wow <laughs> moving forward i see it is a beautiful situation it's just that it's hard for somebody to adapt to it but they will eventually right they will even apologize for their behavior if if they out of some impulse uh, impulsive reaction they said something to you they're going to apologize for that also high priestess eight of pentacles and ace of cups for some of you um capricorn i see that this person might react in a way that you might not like other way around um you are trying to set the boundaries here you are the king of swords here i see this person is very emotional right and they want to tell you that they will be waiting for you and they will make, be making something for you to offer to you see they're, they're preparing the cup and they're offering this cup to you for some of you i see this person might come up with a very emotional confession at the last moment or they might uh, express something that is very emotional it might bring out some emotions for you within you and um, that is going to trouble you for a moment right you're sitting still and thinking that don't <laughs> don't make it hard for me but uh, i see that this person is very sensitive about you they're very sensitive right now and they're trying to deal with it but it's very hard for them you on the other hand are working you're focused you're dedicated there's something on your mind because of which you are putting the emotions in the back seat i see that you have a lot in you but you're just keeping everything behind the curtain you don't want it to be expressed you're setting the healthy boundaries here because you don't want anybody to get hurt eight of pentacles shows me that you are laser focused over something and you want to make it happen and anything which is coming in that way you are trying to just remain positive and let it happen 
success is ahead your intuition is telling you capricorn that success lies ahead and meanwhile if i have to <clears throat> avoid some emotional situations and just stay calm and be present in the moment i think it's going to be a good decision for you right some things might agitate you for a moment or somebody might get agitated the response might be agitated but i think you're just letting it happen because you have the eyes on the price what is this full energy for capricorn nine of wands okay two of cups for some of you i see you're ready to take a leap of faith in your life and love is something you are turning away from you're very defensive about love right now if this is an emotional connection or you share a romantic bond with this person i see that they're going to come up with all the emotional com communication that capricorn something something but you are ready to move forward capricorn you are on the right track and it's very hard for them to digest that it's just a fear i'm picking up it's just a fear in this person's mind that what will happen if capricorn will abandon me and uh, somewhere at heart you're just not looking in that direction for some of you capricorn i'm getting a message that you need to make this person understand that my success is something i set myself to right if they have some assumptions if they have some preconceived notions about life about love about choices and about success it's their point of view and in a healthy connection and in a healthy environment it's very important that we people understand this that the success the love the life the whole choices scenario is very subjective to every individual person and one should never try to portray it over the other person or project over it the other person whosoever this person is i see you are understanding that i will have to set healthy boundaries because it's very hard for them to um, adapt to it they're looking at you from their own perspective that is something that you have to change what is this yeah i think you have found something for some of you i'm getting this message capricorn that you guys have found something and you know that is it that is your calling you want to just have it right but this person is coming up as a challenge so you're just controlling your urges to react there will be a lot of moments when you will be you know just holding back from reacting for very few of you this can be choice in love also where someone is feeling really bad about you making another choice in life this can be choice in love also for for a lot of you honestly but this is not unhealthy maybe you had more than one proposals and you're free to be with the one you really care about or you know you you really want to be with and meanwhile if someone is not comfortable about it i see it's their karma to deal with it it's their personal situation if you care about them you will let them process the emotions same goes with them right so i see you are trying to control your urges to say anything to this person because you can see some fresh start here and you just focused over your work i see a new beginning happening in your life capricorn i see a new fresh start here this person is going on a pause maybe or maybe they're just too irritated this can be a younger friend also who had feelings for you and now they're not comfortable about the changes happening in your life yeah see seven of swords six of pentacles i see that mm, you're realizing that i can only give that much which is possible for me at this point of time right overdoing anything is not going to serve me and is not going to serve the person also so it's it's important to balance it especially when you're heading for a new start in your life seven of swords shows me that any kind of communication long term proposal or a or an offer of commitment coming towards you from this person side i see you are very strategically avoiding it carefully uh, avoiding it and you have the eyes on the prize on the right track so just let it happen right oh this is very intense and this is very important on picking up so your personal choices might impact somebody's emotions but this is the point you set the healthy boundaries where uh, this person needs to process what they feel and you need to process what you want in your life right so this might be at conflict for a moment and this can result in some arguments also but eventually you're on the right track and you know how to make this person understand that so wow let's have a card of advice for capricorn card of advice for capricorn what's happening here capricorn 
Okay, we have stay optimistic about your love life. Positive thinking and faith will bring you romance. And this is exactly what I'm feeling here. Success, remain positive. Again, stay optimistic, remain positive, take action. If something new is coming your way and you're really interested in exploring it, Capricorn, you're totally advised to take a leap of faith there. Take action there. Because someone will always be there out out there who is going to oppose your decisions right sometimes you're close-knit people sometimes outside people are going to criticize your decisions but you have to stay positive about your decisions and if you're guided to do something do it we have deception someone is wearing a false mask in this relationship i see this is somebody who's really not happy by you moving away or you taking a leap of faith in your life they're very much uh, not happy with it and they're not able to tell you that but they're healing from that right maybe they're not in that space or place or right to tell you what to do right but they want to somehow we have let go of control issues allow the situation to unfold naturally can you see this i see some control issues were there which you are setting boundaries against you're letting it you know just you're just letting it go and you are understanding what's right for you this is amazing this is amazing for finances and career financial issues are a factor in your love life right now for some of you this is a money thing and this um, for some of you i'm picking up that you're making some decisions in your life surrounding your long-term future your financial stability and they're not happy about it someone is not happy about it worth waiting for divine timing is at work in your love life capricorn divine timing is at work something you're about to achieve here is definitely going to be worth it i see this ace of wands is a beautiful beautiful prospect which has a potential of growth and success getting to know each other as you reveal the innermost selves to each other your bond deepens and if someone is insecure about you taking a leap of faith in your life or you moving ahead it's time you talk it out and, and make this person understand that what big opportunity is waiting for you and you want to take a shot over it and i see the communication can definitely lead to a positive fresh start between you both maybe together maybe in separately in your separate ways but it is definitely coming right so that's the message i have for you capricorn thank you so much guys for watching bye, -bye.